All right, guys, I think we are in part five um, of this uh, envelope journal that I'm making for my aunt. And um, so I pulled together, let's see, a few more things. Um, yeah, I threw in some uh, guest check in the back here with that card. I'd already had a few pre-made things that I stuffed in there. Um, oh, and then I had this one here I was going to use for the front pocket, and I think I'm going to take one of these uh, self-adhesive uh, library pockets and cards, and I'm going to attach that there. I'm going to do a little decorating behind it first. Actually, I'm going to leave that out because um, I got some chipboard from old packaging, you know, cereal boxes, things like that, for these cards, and yeah, I think they're that way versus, yeah, I want them to go, they're a little bit longer one direction than the other. That's, there we go, that's the way I want them to go in. Um, just make sure that I'm, yeah, I'm in view. And then I, I finished cutting apart the one page um, from that pad of paper, and I'm gonna use these to ask, add, you add as focal points. Um, but that's gonna happen after I decorate them up a little bit more. Or grunge them up a little more, I guess you could say. Oh, there we go. All right, so I got some more of that real pretty dark paper from that one dictionary, and I think that's what I'm gonna use to create that first layer on the back of these car or the back side or the foundation of these cards. So what I want. is for it to have a ripped look and I want it to get as close to the edge as I can get them. So some of these I'm gonna, it's not really cheap, but it's gonna help me see where I need to, need to tear. So as long as I'm on the inside of this line, I can tear away. save these papers you never know another question is which way do I want to go uh, I think that works just fine so there's that one Is I want it to go, yeah, this way. All right, so that's like that. Ooh, this is gonna be a little tight, but I think we can do this. All right, so this direction is good. Let's flip it over. Let's draw some lines. I'm gonna have to tear just that little spot off there. Let's see. Oops. It's four and a half. So this way. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. I think what I will do is Let's see if I can see that. Did that get the yeah, I got barely. Oh, I know this is super exciting. Oops, come on. Mm, 
if I put my glasses on, I can see. <laughs> oh, let me, there we go. Ah, there's that line. Let's see how that fits. And I think as long as it's close, I'm not too worried. Yeah, I can make it work. Oh, did I don't have enough sheets? Oh, oh, that's right. I only grabbed four. I'm gonna need to grab one more. And that's all right. I can do that real fast. I know right where that book is. So let's get this tore down. the same area so it kind of looks similar mm. oh, that's all right I'll take the next page in Next step is going to be inking them up. And these aren't going to fit, like I said, perfect. Anything that overhangs, I'm going to use my emery board and just file it off. But I still want to have an inked look everywhere else. Including the cardstock. So I gotta think about when I'm gonna put my tabs on. So I'm gonna pull them out after I get done inking, if I remember. And we'll see. I'll put them on either before or after this decorating or somewhere in between.
Now sometimes I kind of jump past this stop, this part, but I think sometimes it's nice to see what's happening, especially if there's somebody new watching who's not, who's new to journaling and making handmade journals or paper crafting, junk journals, all that good stuff. I know when I first started, um, I couldn't get enough of just even the ordinary, everyday stuff, the inking and how they cut the papers and made choices on what they were going to collage with and how they were going to put it together. And I even liked watching paint dry. <laughs> just, it was all so exciting when I first started. Boy, I just binged watched so many YouTube videos before I even started creating anything myself. My goodness. So part of the reason I've chose to use one type of book for this book page for this part is I want to have some cohesion through some of the tags um, so they look like they all belong together. Um, let's see, now I do want to put this on here and it's awful plain, but oh, we've got some things over here still that we could use to decorate with. actually loving those little circles. I might even cut, maybe I'll pop, maybe I'll cut those out. I wonder if I've got a, if it is the right size for this. Close. Oh yeah, that'll do. Well, let's just do it. Do it before I think about it too much, right? There we go. One little scrap there. Oof, I do like that. I like having those three right there. And then maybe as a little surprise, I'll put one on the back here. Yeah, I'll do that. I like that idea. Let's do that. Excuse me, Whew. sneeze. Hmm. All right, yeah. So let's go ahead and do this one because I know this will be pretty quick and easy. Let's um, get these out of the way. Oh, excuse me again, my goodness. I don't know where that come, came from. Normally I don't sneeze unless I'm cooking fried eggs because I put too much pepper on them. <laughs> That's usually the, almost the only time I sneeze. Isn't that funny? All right, let's ink this up. I'm going to try, I'm going to switch and just see if there's a difference between the Yoohoo or Oohoo glue and that. I think this one's pretty sticky itself, but let's see. Okay, it's not quite as goopy as the other one. Let's give it a try. So I know with that um, Scotch Create glue, I mean that stuff is ooey gooey enough that you can put it down and attach lace and fabric. I mean that stuff works pretty darn good. It kind of been saving it, and then I always forget about it. So <laughs> what's the point, right? <laughs> uh, okay, here I go. Now let's see, I put this one down, 
I already have the tab on it because it was already pre-made. So on the others, I'm gonna pull them out now so I don't forget. So then this is sticky, so I'm just gonna take that off. Attach this. And hope that it's not crooked, and it does look crooked. Yeah, that's better. Excellent. I'm going to use this to attach these. Just like that. So let's start with the one at the bottom. So it's a card with a pop. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I noticed that um, my phone, the battery got uh, was low and it kind of stopped. So here we are. I finished um, attaching these little pieces. Um, although I think you might have missed. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, I finished the. Oops. Oh, I finished the uh, card in the front pocket there, the library card. Decorated it up a little bit. So we'll get this out of the way. All right, and then we're gonna finish these. So I have that paper down on the back side, and I wanted to do a little more decorating. Just double check that I am in camera. Am I even? The most part mm. okay so I've got a few different pieces of paper to add some contrast before I put on my focal point and I just want to double check where I want these actually I shouldn't be doing any of this right now I need to ink them all up Not that end. So the top. Yeah, there. Yeah, I want them to stand out a little bit. pieces so these are just little pieces of paper out of my scrap pile just like I said add a little bit of um, contrast Give it a little more depth too, I think. Okay, so let's uh, double check where they're gonna lay before I glue them down. Like that one like this, like that 
show on a little bit. I might bring that down to the corner. Maybe right there. Let's see this one. that and I know that's from this corner this this corner and let's see do that corner and that corner yeah that works well Maybe not quite that far up. I don't want it to say cesspool. <laughs> you believe there's shorthand for cesspool. We'll go right underneath Her Royal Highness <laughs> when I glue that down. All right, so. Let's start with this one. Kind of get an idea of where it's at. Oops, come on. Oh, come on. Everything is so sticky. I'm gonna definitely have to switch, switch pages. Where is my card? Ah, there it is. I have to uh, switch glue pages here. This Uhu is pretty sticky as well. Whoops, come on. Just make sure that that's going to be low enough. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, that one doesn't say cesspool either. <laughs> that'll still work. Okay. Cool. So this one, you know what? Where's my little pencil? That just works so much better. And where did it go? Yep, I have another pencil. I'll use this one. Oh, wait, here it is. I found it. Excellent. It's because I know that's going to get covered, so I'm going to do that. That way I know right where it is. That one I'm not too worried about. Let's see. Pretty good. There we go. Make sure this is all working. It looks like it's working. All right, let's. I know those are in the those corners. Yeah, I think we're good on these. Did it on the wrong side anyways. Hmm. Well, let's at least ink this. I really wanted to cover up that cesspool, didn't I? <laughs> well, I did now. 
Well, I guess I can go up to this corner now. There's nothing to hide. Okay. want to ink around the little focal points try not to get too wild with it show much around that but that's okay I'll get rid of the white edges at least and it does give some nice depth to these purpley ones doesn't it I'm pretty happy with that. I think we will. I will um, use our glitter glue for this part. Um, let's see, which one do I want? In the top window. I think I want this one first. This one second, third, and fourth. And I think that will go on just fine. The only one I need to worry about is the one that goes on the last one. Because I want it to go. Yeah, I think I'll attach these first. the same spot, close to the same spot. There's that, and then this is going to go down on top of that. Okay, so there's our second one, this will be the third, and get the 
focal point down. go and then the last focal point for these cards there we go and here we go let's get you in there 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 we go Cool, I like that. All right, so let's see how these look in the journal, in our little envelope journal. All right. Okay, so. There's one. Three. And four. There, we got our little tabs. Love it. Cool. All right, so that part is done. Okay, that's all set. So all I have left to do is the envelope for here and the writing board for here, and then to attach, pick the papers for the journal and attach them and bind it in. Okay, so envelope, what shall we do for the envelope? Yeah, I was going to use this for the writing board along with that other piece. And let's look and see if we've got any large pieces left here that I can make a good size envelope for with. That's still pretty and interesting. I do like that multicolored. I wonder how that would go. could cut this down and make that work too. And we've got this. Hmm, more polka dots. This might actually make an interesting envelope. Hmm. Let me look at sizes I can do. So let me measure what the pocket is. So I could probably get an envelope in here that's at least seven inches wide. Seven by five, seven by four, five and a half, seven by five ish. So let's see, seven by five. Is there one in here, a card size? Do I have a seven by five? I do I have a, oh, there is a seven by five. And that's a nine and a half by nine and a half piece of paper. 
let's see. I miss, let's see if I could do, even if I could do 10 inches, I'd still get the edges of that. Ooh, there's one. That's an idea. There's a five and a half by seven. That's ten and one eighth size paper. Mmm. Let's see. What did that say? There's one in here that says. See, what is the biggest I can do? I might get away with an eight inch, but not really. That's 11. Maybe the 10 and three quarter. I could do seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half would go in there. All right, and then let's see, what is realistic? Five and a half. So, really the only one I can do, I could do five and a half and seven and a half, which is ten and a half. Five and a half would barely fit. Nope. All right, so it's going to be ten and a quarter. We're going to follow that one. Okay, so let's cut this out, or take this out, and see how I can cut that down to... Oops, I probably got that in the way, don't I? Here, let me move that out of the way. Sorry about that. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to, maybe that'll work. Does that mess it up? No, that still works. All right, cool. So I am going to cut this down to 10 and an eighth. Right? Yep. I don't know, I can do... No, it's gonna have to be... Shoot, didn't I say that ten, five and a half would be too long? Yeah, it's gonna have to be a five. Oh, let's see what we can do here. We could do five by seven and a half, which is 10 by 10. And maybe, this is an experiment, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna cut this out on the big cutter. All right, guys, I cut it down to 10 by 10 by 10. And according to this, it will give me a five by seven and a half. And I got a score at four and a quarter. Wait, no, I'm double checking. <laughs> four and one eighth. So, four and one eighth. So that's right there. It's a little, there we go. It's a little long, but that's all right. I can get in there, Let's see. Oops, is it still in there? It's gonna be a little tricky. A little bit tricky. Excuse my head for being in the way. This doesn't have the little indentation. Okay, let's hope for the best, guys.
I'm hoping, there we go, to find the indent, there we go, to finish that off. It's a little tricky, but it's what I got. Oops, come on. Okay. I actually think this is going to make a very pretty envelope. Okay, and then... Oh, I want the darker edge at the top. I want to round the corners. Probably trim that down. Ooh, now that actually made a very pretty envelope, didn't it? Look at that. <laughs> cool. So let's just double check. Is it going to fit in? Get this out of the way. There we go. It will fit in there. Just barely, but perfect. Yeah, excellent. And that's all I wanted is just one envelope in there. Nice tight fit. So I'm going to trim this down. together. Circling the corner down. This little spot and down. This little spot and down and then up to the corner. There we go. Oops. And let's make sure that didn't stick. It didn't. Excellent. And I will find something to put in there. Perfect, and it fits right to the edge. Love it. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's do up this uh, writing board real quick. So this is what I want to use. It's kind of old. It's got a little blue tint to it. Um, it's an old uh, music for schools book. Uh, let's see, I think it says, here we go, 18... 68 is when the patented June 23rd, 18, it looks like 68. So this is the side I'm going to cover with the paper. I'll clean up a few of these edges here. Okay. So... And I'm going to take it right to the edge. And so I'm going to just trim that by hand. Out of the way. Let's see, I want that 
that to the top. I want that to the top. Yeah. Okay, and this is going to get glued with the Elmer's glue. Come on. Uh oh. It's wanting to. There we go. Let's clean that needle off. There we go. So I'm also going to be using some washi tape around the edges and some uh, corner protectors on this. That's why I'm not too worried. Just want to make sure that it's in there. Nice. This will give us a nice, good, firm surface to ride on yeah. and so this is the uh, um, I thought the colors were perfect this is the uh, washi I'm gonna use it's got llamas on it save the drama for your llama not my problem <laughs> it's just funny and I think it'll be super cute to, to put around the outside edges of this so let me my fingers up just a little here and I do want to put some glue on this to double enforce up having to cut this down really didn't want to but I think I didn't give it enough oh it might it'd be really tight hmm you know what I might trim it down a little bit and in order to do that um, I am going to use my exacto knife uh, my cutting knife and I'm gonna pull out my other cutting mat I don't know I know I cut on this one but sometimes I feel like it's got to go too deep or hard I'm gonna <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna protect it and save it and hope it make it last for as long as I can uh, I think I also need to change the blade here Okay. Urgh. Open sesame. There we go. Put this in a protected spot until I can put it away properly. All right, so I am going to, I think, let's see, I'm gonna line this up and I think I'm gonna cut it down maybe a quarter of an inch. So if I line that there, that looks pretty good. That's up there, that's there. I think that'll do it. All right, guys, oops. Hopefully this old book I can get through. I don't see why I can't couldn't just might take a little more I 
There, that looks pretty good. That's a nice straight cut. Let's see how that fits in there now. It's still gonna be a little tight. Especially after I get the little corners on, the corner protectors. So what I think I will do is take a little tiny bit off of this end as well because It's a little rough anyways, so I'll just line it up. Excuse my head for a second. There we go. That looks pretty even. All right, so another quarter inch off of this end. Oh, that one came off much better. Okay. Now this should definitely fit in there. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, cool. All right, so next step. I need to trim that a little bit, don't I? Hmm. Let's just use the tape. All right, so I want to piece long enough. I don't care if it goes over. I'm going to overlap everything, like I said, and then use the corner protectors. So. Hmm. There we go. Come on. Trying to tape the tape, or glue the tape anyways. Let's see. See, that looks about right. Yeah. I like that, that's kind of fun. And got a little bit of bling. And this, this uh, tape also has the gold leaf in it as well, so it really matches quite well with the rest of the book. See, I did hit, yes, okay. Same direction. Do the same direction. Let's go this way. Looks about right. Okay, let's trim off these. fingers are getting so sticky. Okay, let's do the last two little pieces here. Oops, almost forgot. <laughs> you guys probably noticed that, didn't you? 
go. done guys get this in here and get those corners on loving it just loving it okay cut the little tabs off Now this one, I did not grunge it up. Um, I, I want as little, oops, that can peel up off of it as possible. And I figure this side is grungy enough as is. And then this is just a nice surface. So the other thing is I got these. And I decided to use the gold ones just because there's already so much little gold floating around in this journal. I think it would look really nice. I'll just clean off my fingers. Okay, so I thought it would be a nice idea to do these corners. What I don't have is I'm wondering if I should hot glue them or, hmm. I haven't really done much with these, although it does look really nice. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll probably pop back on for a final flip through. So basically that's what this is gonna look like. And um, that is pretty much it. So um, I'll be back with a, a final little flip through for the end of this video and I'll see you shortly, bye. All right, guys, here is the flip through. So I, um, I, uh, I added a little charm and this little purple uh, piece of ribbon for the tie. So it wraps around two, three times that way, two, three times that way. I mean, you can go either direction, it doesn't matter. Um, and then here we go, we'll open this up. And we've got a pocket with a library card tag here. We've got four flip over uh, CD cases, each with a tag or card. There we go. There's another pocket here, and in there is um, there's a little Oh, fanned out notepad for a little extra writing space. And oh, this is just a card. There we go. And then it opens up and we've got our journal here. There we go. And then here's a large pocket, side pocket here with a big envelope in it. And inside the envelope, I just stuck a few of the extra pieces from the uh, paper pack. And then at the very back is a belly band with a writing board. So on the back side, this side is an old uh, cover from a music book for us elementary school. And then uh, this side is from the paper pack. I did some washi tape around the outside edge and I did the corners to protect them. So it can go in either direction. And then on the very back cover, 
there's another large pocket and in that pocket there's a little guest check and then there's just a little open up card for more writing space all right so this is the journal i made up for my uh, aunt One, oops, let's try it this direction two and then around a few times there we go and the cute little charm and all the colors just match so nice so thank you guys for watching and um, i'll see you guys next time bye